I had a really bad week this week. It was not the greatest. Stuff happened at work and it was just so stressful, but I'll talk about that later. Right now, uh, I wanted to uh, talk about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Well, what happened was that I had to take my oldest dog. Her name's not Lana. Her name's Lana. I had to take her so they can put her to sleep, you know? And that was, that was pretty hard. It wasn't hard at the beginning when we were on our way to the vet. But as I was waiting for the vet to see us, that's when it really hit me. And that's when I thought, oh my gosh, we're going to put down my dog. And that's when I really started to, to really feel it, you know. And, uh, she's been having trouble lately. I mean, for the past year, since the beginning of the year, she's been having trouble and my parents were always like oh you know take her to the vet because she's suffering so much and I didn't want to do it because I still felt she was strong and she still had that will to live and I tried to tell them that I didn't feel right taking her then and at, I tried to put it off as as, as long as I could but she was she was suffering and and yesterday this 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 week was just like the tip you know the tip it was it was really yeah just to see your dog in that situation it, you don't really know when to when it's the right time yeah, it just, it was hard. And then at the vet, I still felt she, she still had time. You know, she still was alert. She still ate. But she was, she was suffering. She was, she couldn't see. She could hardly walk. Her back legs were useless. And then she she was having trouble going number two. She could hardly eat. I bought her wet food, but it didn't really help with her bowel movements or any of that sort. I just, yeah. It's like you don't really, you have a pet and you don't really expect what well, you do. There's always a part of you that knows that they're never, uh, your pet is not going to live as long as you do. So they're always going to be the first one to go. There, there's all, it's always the, there's always a part, you know, you just ignore it. You don't really want to face the truth. But yeah, it's just, you don't really know. You don't know. I don't. I'm. I wasn't sure. I still think about it. I think about whether or not it was her time. If I should have taken her yesterday or waited a few more, maybe a few more months or until the end of the year, if she would, if she would have still kept going. But that's what my mom said, and like she told me, do you really want her to be suffering like that? like the way she was suffering even if she has a good heart or she she has strength because she was in pain and she was she's our she was 14 years old she was going on to 15 and i've had this dog for that long no not really uh we got her when she was probably two two to three years old we um we got her from an older man who didn't really take care of her so she already had she came with dental problems uh ear infection her hair was matted so 
we took care of that, but well, I've had her for for the past what twelve years since like what half my life I've had that dog, so it's it was it was it was tough. It was tough. I didn't. I didn't want to do it, but my mom was right. It's if they were to decide when it was their time. I, I wish they could say something, but they're dogs, and you can't really communicate with them. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just there's still that part of me that says that maybe I could have held it off a little bit, waited. Or something, but I don't. I guess I'll never know. I, I we took her already, so she's gone. It's still tough. It's still tough. I've been through this with a couple of pets already. Um, maybe three dogs, a chicken, a chicken. Yeah. Um, actually two chickens. Yeah, I had two chickens. So, yeah. Yeah, all my dogs, all my dogs were over the age of 13 when they, um, when we had to take them to the vet and to put down. Uh, my chickens, one of them was pretty young, maybe like a year. The other one was two years, um, but they were both, you know, factory from the factories so they say never to really expect a chicken from from a factory farm to live that long but you don't really you don't you ignore you ignore that fact when you have a pet it's just like with us we we live every day i mean we we know we we're we're not immortal but you don't think about death as much. Maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, I miss my dog. I miss her. But it was, it was a tough call. It was a tough call. But like, it, man, you never know. You don't know when the right time is. I mean, I mean, there's a point when they're like totally suffering and they don't, you know, death, right? You, you, you call for it, but there's like a point before that, you don't want to get to that point where they're like, you know, kill me now because I'm in so much pain. You, you want to get to a, a point before that. <sighs> but yeah, yeah, I get really emotional with my pets. My last dog, oh, that hit me so hard. But yeah, I, I'll miss her. She was dear. She was a sweet dog. A sweet dog. I have a picture. I have a picture of her. This is her. She was a poodle. Anyways, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was my week. I mean, that was yesterday. So my week was horrible and stuff it all off. I had to put my dog down on Saturday. So yeah, here's hoping to next week. It's a better, it's a better week. I hope it's a better week. It probably will be a better week. I mean, I usually don't have bad weeks. But, yeah. Dang it. Love your pets. You all take care of them. Smother them while you have them. <sighs> because the way of life, we don't get to keep our pets for too long. Even though we want to. So, yeah. Here's hoping for a better week better Monday, a better Tuesday. Oh God. I'll tell you guys the story about what happened my the last Tuesday. That was a really bad Tuesday. 
God. But yeah. Yeah, but for now. Yeah. Have a good. Have a good Sunday. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye.